Picture this. Hamas leader Yihya Sinwar, the mastermind of the deadly October 7th attack on Israel, is killed. Arabic Facebook feeds are filled with posts showing Hamas flags and terrorists at his funeral, and the captions read, thousands mourn the shaheed or martyr Yihya Sinwar. Sounds crazy, right? Well, in a few months, such sickening posts may be considered neutral across Meta's social media platforms like Facebook or Instagram. See, the Meta Oversight Board is considering lifting its ban on the word shaheed. The board argues that the word is not always used to glorify terrorism, which is true. Shaheed, like the word jihad, had benign origins, but today it's usually said in the context of violence and the glorification of terrorists. For example, that's how Hezbollah's Almanar TV described Lebanese arch-terrorist Imad Mukhnier, who's responsible for the bombing of Israeli and Jewish targets in Buenos Aires in the 1990s. And Iranian press TV recently referred to the martyrdom of Hamas's number three, Marwan Issa, who Israel killed in Gaza. But as for now, Meta only removes posts that use the word in the context of glorifying those they deem to be dangerous organizations and individuals, or in other words, terrorists. If the Meta Oversight Board gets its way, people could describe terrorists as shaheeds without repercussions, so long as there are no other signals of violence like weapons. But propaganda news outlets will be able to show a dead terrorist and describe them as a shaheed because it would be considered a neutral report thanks to the Meta Oversight Board's guidelines. Allowing this open praise of terrorism could very well lead to real life violence. If Meta is as serious about combating terrorism as it claims to be, then it must not lift this ban.